take two. Welcome back. Basalt in Waikiki is the head restaurant at the Duke's Lane Market and Eatery. With their flavorful dishes and wines to pair with, we sent Dallas Ontiveros to join us with all of the details on what to order. Hey, good morning, Dallas. Hey, Kelly and Christine, that's right. We're here at Basalt Restaurant in the heart of Waikiki, checking out the kitchen where things are cooking, things are steaming just in time for breakfast. But now we're going to get down with delicious dinner. And here joining us on Take Two, we got Chef Gary in the house. Good morning, Chef Gary. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having us here this morning. Now, I know we're going to prepare something awesome, but before we get into that, tell me, how long has Basalt been in Waikiki for? Uh, we are just over two years old. So, two years. Uh, we had an anniversary in July. Okay. Okay. And um, I've been fortunate enough to work with this project since the beginning. So wow. I've so, been here to see it all. So how has the response been in the last two years? Actually, we've been steadily growing, yeah. and that's thanks to a lot to our local clientele. Oh yeah, who have been discovering us. We'd like to call ourselves kind of the hidden gem of Waikiki. It seriously is. It's right next to International Marketplace on Kohio. You really can't miss it. And even though we're going to get into dinner, breakfast is actually being served until till till two thirty. So uh, yeah, two thirty. Okay, yeah. so that is so. just an option to have. But let's go ahead and dive into what we're making for dinner okay. now. What we're gonna what you're making for dinner. Oh, I guess what I'm making for yes. dinner, it's a fresh catch of the day. Exactly. So you guys call it a little bit different here when you guys say fresh catch of the day. What, what, what's your definition of fresh catch of the um, day? Because we receive all of our fish from the local fish auction, mm -hmm. uh, it's not a standard fish. So we pick okay. the freshest of, uh, available uh, fish of the day. So whatever comes in the market, that's what we use. And what are we using today? Today we're using opa, moonfish. Opa. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with. So we have all these different ingredients. Do you want to kind of... Okay, what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you mix the crust, okay? Okay. This is not your typical old school macadamia nut crust uh, with a tropical salsa. Okay. Not like the 90s. Okay. So what we're doing is we're going to have you come over here. All right. And we're going to have you mix together the macadamia nuts. Okay. Kamakua macadamia nuts. Here, I'm going to let you hold the okay. mic so I can put my gloves yeah, on. Definitely. Okay. And what are we going to do next? So we're going to mix the crust, and then we're going to actually crust the fish, and we're going to throw it in the oven, and uh, we'll have a finished product for you to try. So how much do I want to put of uh, the macadamia everything nuts? Everything? So okay. Mix everything Perfect. Once. And what is this okay. right here? Can you Paco? remind me? Paco. Paco. Bread comes. Paco. Okay. Okay. And then what we have here is we have a uh, jalapeno room walk cut, and it's de-seeded, so it's not real spicy. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and mix in that. We have some green onions. And then we're gonna use the burn set. Burn set is a brown butter. So what we do is we'll take uh, the brown the butter and we'll let the milk fats kind of burn off. Okay. Um, once you scrape that off in there, get all the good flavor. Yeah, what's, at the, what's on the bottom of this right here? Just That's actually the, the, the browned milk fats. Oh, okay, so that's okay. what make, gives it that nuttiness, that kind of aroma and flavor to it. And okay. Then we're going to put some lime juice okay. for acidity, mm -hmm. a little salt for seasoning. Oh wait, I gotta do it like the salt nope, guy. You can just, oh like yes, salt bay. Yeah. Which, there we go. All right, okay. I'll just put it all in. <laughs> and then uh, if you can, zest a little lime. So the lime zest also adds, here, let me show you. There we go. Yeah, there you go. I see you've been in a kitchen before. Oh, yes. Yeah. Not this type of kitchen, but you have me working this morning. It's all good. I love this kind of stuff. So how much zest do I want to put in there? Is oh, this enough? Half, half the lime. Half the lime? Yeah. Okay. So keep going. <laughs> I don't know. We have all this time. Let's see, about two minutes. Okay, just flip it okay. over and tap it off. Oh, that yeah, oh there you go. I get it. Okay, all right. That's pretty easy. Okay. Let me add just a little bit more, yeah? Never, never... Yeah, we want a little bit of this. We like it. I like this zest right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. that work. Okay, just get in there and mix it all up. It's going to feel yes. a little soft, and the butter's going to kind of mix everything together. Mm -hmm. And is this one of your most popular entrees, the fresh catch of the day? It is, actually. Uh, be, it's one of our top two entrees, and we uh, serve it every night. Nice. And this is going to be the crust right here. So once this is done, we're going to do what next? Correct. I'm going to take you over here. We have a pre-seared fish. All right. And actually, we have a pre-mixed one here for you to use. Oh, perfect. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to brush a 
light layer of mayonnaise on it adds okay. a little fat and helps the crust adhere to the fish. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Nice. And then the easiest way to do this is to actually get get in there with your hands. Same so gloves yeah, okay. same gloves, All okay. Right. And then kind of pack it down on there. Oh, so, just like this. Yeah. There Perfect. you go. Perfect. Nice. We'll just pack this down right here. And you know what? Coming up in the second half hour of Take Two, I actually want to, do we have how it looks like at the end of this right yes, here? Yes, we can plate one up for you if you'd like. Yes, so we'll okay. Throw it in the magic oven? Yes, let's throw it in the magic oven. And we're going to have to show you how this looks like in the second half hour of Take Two. But until then, reporting from Basalt, sending it back to you ladies in the studio. Thank you. He's having yeah. too much fun in there. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a good time. Easy to do when you have a pro chef talking you through it. But right. I was like, I don't think I've ever z put zest in anything. And I've never <laughs> seen anyone have so much fun putting zest in anything. I like, like it though. Did. If there's anyone that's going to just put zest in zest, <laughs> it's Dallas. <laughs> All right. Well, here in Hawaii, we have high school sports like football, basketball, wrestling, and cheerleading.